Hello, everybody. So, this is Chris from Crispy's Toys and Treasures. I'm back with you. I just <laughs> shot the intro to part one about three seconds ago. It may seem like a long time ago to you. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so uh, thank you for watching part one if you did. If not, thank you for coming over to part two and watching part two. Part two is going to be the ephemera. So it's all the newspapers dating back all the way to, I think it was like 1918, one of the newspapers was. Um, there's some really cool old ephemera. The pictures in this lot are amazing. You will not be disappointed with some of the ephemera in this lot. But uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's get on into part dose of this amazing auction haul. value. Okay, so these and this camera were on another bookcase. I ended up, again, this is really funny because I threw a, nobody was bidding. So, um, some, finally, after the auctioneer got done talking about it all, I was going to throw a 25, somebody else threw a $25 bid. I was like, you know what, let me throw a 40 at it. I threw a $40 bid thinking somebody else, nobody else bid. So, I got this for 40 Um, it's this camera in the box, and there's the camera. I'm not sure, uh, it's... You know, it, it opens up. It's really cool. Let me get that open up for you. See if I can do this with one hand. Probably not. There it is all open up. It's kind of cool. That is the camera open up. Obviously, you know, there's no way to know if it actually works, but it's kind of cool. Again, that's probably going to be an antique booth thing. But we'll throw a comp up on the screen if I can find one just to give you an idea what it goes for on eBay. Now, let's see, so, all these pictures also, all these old pictures were part of it. This one is really cool. And I think 57, yeah, 1957 dentistry. I think there's gonna be some value in that picture. That's kinda cool, it's in really good shape too. This one I also think will be really cool. I think this one will do well. And then there's just a whole bunch of other random pictures in here, just, you know, just miscellaneous. Just loads of them. All these here. That one, t um, it's too bad that that one's broken half. That's really cool. Just the back on that, cool too, is really cool. Some of these I think are photo, oh yeah, look, these are photo postcards. That one's pretty neat. And all of these some of the comments on these are really cool too. Like, look, that that one's really neat. And the person wrote, double header. I don't know what that, smack, whatever. <laughs> um, 1929. Those pictures are 1929. I love old pictures like this. I think these will do really well. Oh, look at that one. Oh, that's cool. Let's flip that one around. How sweet is that? That is really cool. I like that picture. This one's neat too. An unexpected picture, it says. Gotta love the ones with the old cars. Ready for a ride? Oh, that must have been before they went on the airplane. Oh, that's funny. That's really cool. Another one of the old car. Oh, look at this. In memory of Mary. Really nice handwriting. It's like a poem that they wrote. That's really pretty cool. 
Oh, look, there's another one of the plane. Mail plane, it says. That's really neat. I like that. A little bit out of focus, but it's really cool. But yeah, so you get the idea. Whole bunch of really cool old pictures. Some pigs. <laughs> But there's a ton of these. I only paid 40 bucks for this whole box. Definitely would not have a hard time getting the 40 bucks back out of that. That's pretty sweet. I think I could get the 40 bucks out back out of just this one picture. I really do think this picture alone could get the $40 back. That's pretty cool. What do you guys think? Are you guys into ephemera like that? I definitely like that one. Let me go grab now. I forgot to show you that all of these were part of that uh, that that other box that I showed you. So let's go through some of these real quick. Again, now these were again these were on that that bookcase. I paid forty dollars for everything in this stack, along with the stuff that I just showed you. Some of these, you know, obviously much worse. I don't know if that can be cleaned up, but it looks like it's a train track. This one's really neat. I actually like this one. That one's pretty cool. This one's pretty cool, too. With a look in this, it's got like a shiny look to it. That's freaky. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> oh, looks like the same girl there. What do we got in here? Oh, baby! <laughs> Lots of babies. Another cool one. Now that one's got some damage to it, but a pretty neat picture. Looks like, and well, these are all the same kids, it looks like. There's a man. <laughs> There's another cool one. Now, oh, is that a family picture? I don't know. It's definitely old, though. Uh, obviously. Did I even need to say that that's definitely old? <laughs> oh, there's a class photo. That's cool. I love these colorized old pictures like that. Those are really neat. Oh, there's, looks like that's a military one there. That one's pretty neat. Alright, here is some more ephemera, some more paper. So, let's see, this deck, I believe this is all Saturday evening posts. And there are various conditions, obviously, as you see. But the cool thing about these, the ad, like this Champion Spark Plugs, the ads in here are worth really good money. Oh, look at this one. That one's a really cool ad there for Haveline Texaco. Because you can definitely make good money on these ads. Look at that sun kiss. That's really cool. But yeah, so all of those are looks like Saturday Evening Post. And some of these, though, like 1950. I'd have to look up some of these. I mean, some of these Saturday Evening Posts, though, if they go for decent money, I will not be ripping them. I mean, if you know, if I can get 20, 25 bucks for one of these, I'm going to do that just because it's a much easier. Look, Johnson & Johnson ad. But yeah, these Saturday evening posts are good. And so we got 1950, we got a 48, another 50, 51, 49. Oh, that's a newer one, it looks like. 1969, another newer one. Oh, that must be the Kennedy's death. Another one on Kennedy. But yeah. So yeah, a couple of these are even bagged and boarded, although they still a little bit of damage on them, but you can see what they were trying to sell them for. Uh, all these came from a, an ant, or yeah, I guess it was an antique store, an antique store in northern New York that closed down, that people are moving south. So this stack here is just tons and tons of old ads. 
Like, look at the, look how thick this is. I think it's mostly Saturday evening posts. So we're, again, we're going to be talking 40s and 50s, but there's a ton of them there. I'm not, not even going to go through all those, but you get the, you get the point. We got a bunch of magazines over there. Looks like we got some more older ones. Oh yeah, definitely older. Look at this. 1921 Farm Life. That's really cool. This week. Oh, this is actually Syracuse. 1964. There's another one. Post Standard. That's really cool. Uh, these are some looks. Bagged and boarded look there. Another one. Now over here. Just a ton more magazines. Like I mean, you know, it's like I can't show you everything, obviously, but just a ton and ton. It's a lot of older stuff. What is this? This is 19, 1938. 1938 McCall's. Now, there's going to be some sweet ads in there, too, from 1938. Not the best condition, but you know what? People like stuff like that. Conservative Magazine, Unity. I look, you know, I did try to put all these together. American Home. Now, some of these down in here were pretty old, I believe. Let me try to get to them. Some of these American homes. The American Home. I don't see the date on it. Oh, right, 1942. Nineteen forty-two. Well, yeah, you see various conditions on them. Some needlework ones, much older. Some family, some women's circle down there. Nineteen fifty-one German newspaper. This was kind of cool. Some kids' science ribbons from the fifty-six. Look at this. 56, 57, and 58. Should have stopped when he was ahead. <laughs> oh, man. All of these, a lot of those prints. Looked those up. Some of these, I, I mean, those... I saw somebody sell one of these for 9 bucks, and look how many of those there are. So, that's cool. Oh, these are the ones that I like. These actually could possibly go for good money. Um, and I looked these up. They're, it's Thomas... Hayden, I believe. I'll throw some comps up on the screen for that. There's the Mayflower, the Blue Nose, and the HMS Victory, all from the same Thomas Hayden. Those could be some good value on those. Um, let me see if I can see. I don't remember what the date was on them. It did not have a date, I don't think, but yeah. And there's some maps here, some much older maps. Uh, oh, these are really cool. So, from what I can tell, this was 50s. I'm going to have to correct myself in the comments on the screen, but like, when I was comping, when I was looking these up, I finally found out some information, and yeah. So these are like stickers, unused for, I think it was like um, interior design type of thing, but relatively old. And I don't had, didn't couldn't see anywhere. Somebody had a whole bunch of them like this, different ones unused. So that's really neat. Like I said, we got some more in there. This picture is really neat. And actually, I can't tell if this is... It looks to me like it's a photo. Oh, look at that. What do you think? I think this is a photo. If that's a photo, it's really neat. It was obviously staged or whatever, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, 1908 Etude. Etude. Some old uh, sheet music. This is all crafting stuff, needlework, old needlework stuff. Some of these were pretty old too, I believe. See if I can find one with a date on it. I can't find one with a date on it right this second. But I remember looking those up. This is just a whole ton of cookbooks. Smaller cookbook things. So I was just going to lot all those up. Let me get some more of this out here. 
So then Life Magazines. Look at the stack of Life Magazines. 54, lots of 54, 59, 54, 54, 59. So yeah, so just a lot from the, a ton of them from the 50s. 59, 54, 54, there was just one page. 54, and again, various conditions. Some of them actually pretty nice, like that one there is pretty nice. Well, this one's really cool, 1960 Colts on the cover of it. That one's really neat. 1960, 60, 60. Ooh la la. 54. Ooh la la. <laughs> 59. So yeah, as you see, tons and tons. I don't know what year that is. It's ripped off. 54, 54, 69, 59. We got some that are bagged and boarded here. It looks like some newer ones. Six, another Colts. 68, 69, ooh, Mae West, that's cool, but yeah, so that's all the Life Magazines, ton of popular mechanics, as you see, all these popular mechanics, again, various conditions, but you know, when I put together how many is in this entire collection that I got, they had to do it, you just had to do it, it I love the large collections. This is a cool poster. National Commanders of the American Legion. Looks, I'm guessing the poster's from 1940, according to that, huh? Uh, is there a date on there? But yeah. Uh, okay, now look at the comics. Some cool comics here. None of these are spectacular condition. But there's some really neat ones. Oh, look at this one. I wish this one was nicer. It's not horrible, actually. It's really not horrible. And I was looking at the comps on these. I don't know if they got a tear there. But, I mean, that's an expensive comic if it's in really good shape. So, who knows? Who knows? All I know is these are old. I'm, I'll probably lot up all the Western ones. Jungle Girl. Lorna Jungle Girl. That one's really cool. Little Max. Annie Oakley. As you see, there's a lot of Western ones here. Gunsmoke. Sorry, the light is kind of ruining some of these really cool covers for you guys because they're in, uh, they had them in plastic. Annie Oakley. Cisco Kid. This one's really neat. Look at the cover on this one. Six Gun Heroes. That one's really neat. MGM's Mouse. Mouse Musketeers. Gene Autry again. Walt Disney Zora. This one actually is really good too if it's in good shape. This one's got some damage on it, but it's not horrible. Oh, water damage. That's what was wrong with it. Oops. Brave Eagle. That one's got a torn cover, unfortunately. Another Gene Autry. See, this one's a really cool King of the Royal Mount. Any Canadian fans out there? Look at that one. That one's cool. Lone Ranger. Look, unfortunately, look at that top. That's a shame. We cut it from there down. It, that, that's a really cool. Rin Tin Tin. Spin and Marty and Antoinette. And Annette. Annette, sorry. Beetle Bailey. And Walter Lance, the new funnies. So yeah, some really old comics there. And then we've got some books. Some more really old books. Uh, scrapbooks. These are really neat. This person just, like, put together these old scrapbooks. Some of their own writings in here, too. What? It says 1930 there. I'm wondering if that's when, uh... I haven't really looked through this too closely to see... Oh, yeah, look, 1931. All right. So that's really cool. I mean, this scrapbook is old. That's really pretty neat. Another scrapbook. Look at the writing in there. Not too much in there, but some writing. That's really neat. Pretty neat. I would probably put this, all the scrapbooks together. Oh, I guess that's the cover of this other one. Oh, jeez. I'm not even going to show you what was on the cover of that one. But yeah, some more handwriting in this one. Scrapbook. It's really pretty cool. I like that. Definitely like that. This is funny. So they took this book, 
and turned it into a scrapbook. <laughs> it was some kind of uh, music thing. It's like it was a dealer, like, to show records or something. Music. But they use it as a scrapbook for... It's kind of neat. All these military things. What are these? Are these like trading cards or something? Oh, wow. Huh. Interesting. Those might have some decent value. They're, unfortunately, they're stuck to it. But wow, those are pretty cool. Well, one, on, one came undone. Oh, look, there's more. There's more over here, too. What are those? Does anybody know? Anybody know what these are? Should I just leave them? Wow. Those are really neat. I'm sorry the lighting in here is pretty... But they're like... Vint... The original holographs. <laughs> hollows are in now. These are old school hollows. Because every based on everything else in this collection, these are got... This has got to be... 40s maybe, do you think? 40s or 50s? Uh, I wish I could see a date on something. But yeah, wow. The new supersonic fighter. So this is somebody that was totally into military planes and stuff. Is there a date on this uh, article? No. There's, there's, I'm sure if I, I'm going to look closer at this, I'm sure I'm going to find a date on something in here. But yeah, pretty cool. Looks like it's just the beginning of, uh, you know, military uh, the, with Nike men. <laughs> I, th I was going to say, is that shoe down? No, that's not shoe down. <laughs> so yeah. You see that scrapbook, and there's actually another one here. Uh, they did the same thing with this book. Just, just turned it into some kind of military. And, you know, at first I thought this was junk, and I almost threw these away, but the more I'm looking at them, I'm like, you know what, somebody that's into military and play, what do you guys think? I actually really think these scrapbooks are pretty darn cool. Somebody that, you know, was in the military or is into military, you know, I, I guess this would be Navy, right? Like, it seems to be everything in here Navy. I, I'm sorry, Air Force, which, you know, that was my dad. God, I, would, I wish, wish, wish my dad was still alive to show him this. Um, he flew some of these planes. We're, I'm sorry, he, didn't, he was a mechanic on these planes back in Korea. Um, man, I, I'm starting to break up. It's actually Father's Day today as I film this. So, oh man, wow, that really got me. Whew. All right. Oh, back on track now. Sorry about that. Oh man. Take a break. Okay, anyway, sorry about that. Um, yeah, as some of you may know my... I just lost my dad uh, just a couple months ago, so it's still, you know, this is the first Father's Day and everything. and still kind of rough, but that Navy book, uh, really, or Air Force, I keep saying Navy. Okay, anyway... Here's another scrapbook. Again, I almost threw this away, but, you know, I think people will enjoy stuff like this. Somebody, there's a, you know, somebody's going to want something like this, I think. Well, that's actually really neat. But, yeah, so, so there's that. Oh, we got this over here, too. Look at all these pages from a 1966 and all these these are all photo photo postcards here a whole bunch of photo postcards that looks like uh, is that maybe coming back from the war or something the end of the war we don't know a date don't know really what it is but old Christmas card ton of old pictures in here well these are all pictures oh that's kind of cool these are all like stuck together books of old pictures, black and white pictures. They get more pictures in there. This one's neat. So do you think this is 42533 by Sandy. June. So is that June? I draw on her. That's kind of that's pretty cool, isn't it? 
Now we've got, this is really neat. So it's a bookkeeping ledger, and as you see, Ninety one, not nineteen ninety one, eighteen ninety one. You see, eighteen ninety two, all the way up to ninety three. There's ninety three in here. There we go, eighteen ninety three, and that's where. There you go, the eighteen ninety three right there. But here's some names. And when I looked this up, corner of 9th and Peach in Erie, Pennsylvania, that was Second National Bank. So this is some kind of bank ledger for Second National Bank, 1891 through 1893. Really cool ledger there. That's pretty neat. Now, all this newspaper I almost threw away because it's not perfect condition. But you guys tell me what would you? I mean, what would you do? Would you? Some of it's okay, but it's some of it is really old. This is uh, 1977. That's not that old. Bicentennial stuff from Syracuse newspaper. What do we got here? This one was 1934, and I believe I have it. Yeah, there's a whole bunch here for 34. Look, here's more 34s. And again, some of this, you know, it's got tears in it, but I just can't bring myself to throw this away. I mean, this is history here. We got some from 1933. More for 34, so there's a lot from 33, 34. That was all about the war, I guess. This is still 30, still 34. Now this is a J, everything in here is stuff on JFK. This one was 24? Well that's 1924 on that one. 1918, 1921, nine Michigan city dead. Death toll mounts to, why, why is everybody in Michigan dying? 1921, February 28, 1921, another one, 1921, Helen Conway, alias Burns, a fugitive, <gasps> what did she do, what did she do, 1918, 1933 again, okay, now this is where we're going to get into a whole ton of JFK stuff. You know, some of it, like, you know, it's it's not the best condition, unfortunately, but I just couldn't bring myself to get rid of these. Got a bunch on 16, so this is all a bunch of Nixon stuff. Oh, these are, so this is all the end of World War II. Right? Yep. Germany quits. Peace. This one, look at this. I just can't, so what do you guys think? Is there a market for newspaper like this? That's not perfect, but would somebody want... I'm thinking of just lotting up this entire bin. Just all of this newspaper to one person. I think somebody would be interested in it. I really do. I just can't bring myself to... Well, I wouldn't throw it away. I would recycle it, but... <laughs> uh, let's see, 1963. Oh, so that's all the Kennedy... I believe all of that, that whole rest of that pile is all Kennedy assassination. But yeah, so as you see, ton of newspaper there. Um... Now again, this here, see if I can unwrap this. This map is St. Lawrence River, but it looks like it had some kind of bog eating, unfortunately. And again, I can't bring myself to get rid of this. I guess I may end up throwing this away. I don't think anybody's gonna want a map that's eat. I can't sell it, but I might just hang it from my rafters, like I did with this one here. The 80, that was torn up a little bit. I didn't think it was going to have any value, so I just kind of taped it up there. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? Oh, a Bruce Springsteen. That's cool. 
This is Rambo. Yes. Rambo's either, either going in my rafters or, or uh, he's going to be sold. He might be sold. Um, oh, and this one is... This is Tony Dorsett. Yep. Tony Dorsett and Herschel Walker. And they're not in the best of shape, but, you know, I'll just I'll just sell them as a lot. Probably just really cheap. Corners are all, you know, from tacking them up. But, well, thank you, everybody, for watching part two of this amazing haul. So that ephemera was pretty exciting to me. Um, there's some really good stuff in there. Like I said, um, most of that stuff is going to be coming to my eBay store. And then some of it is going to go out to my antique mall along with a lot of this stuff right here. I'm actually already listing tonight some of this stuff from over here. Um, some of the knives and that Pyrex piece and some other stuff is getting listed tonight. So um, I will hopefully have sales for that very soon. But anyway, thank you for watching. Please go ahead and drop a comment in there and a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I really appreciate every one of you. Peace out from the Crispy Shed.